James Madison was the first wartime president of the United States. He had inherited the policies of Jefferson. He was, after all, his Secretary of State. In his inaugural address, Madison spoke about America's desire to remain neutral. Indulging no passions which trespass on the rights or the repose of other nations, it has been the true glory of the United States to cultivate peace by observing justice and to entitle themselves to the respect of the nations at war by fulfilling their neutral obligations with the most scrupulous impartiality. Madison supported the repeal of the Neutrality Act and its replacement by less restrictive acts. When the French accepted American terms and the British refused, America's relations with the British deteriorated. Finally, in 1812, President Madison asks Congress for a declaration of war against the British. Madison was an unexceptional war president, and his leadership during the war was not particularly inspired. However, he was re-elected in 1814, the American people deciding that they did not want to change presidents in the middle of the war. The American victories towards the end of the war resulted in a positive feeling towards Madison, and he left office as a popular founding father.